So I got a DM on Instagram the other day saying, why do nice guys always get put in the friend zone and girls just always date the assholes? And I figured I should share my thoughts on that. They're very provocative thoughts and there are a lot of them. So listen carefully and try to stick with me till the end. You will not regret it. So let's get into it. So I'm going to be speaking mainly from my experience here and based on the question that I got on Instagram, which means I'm using language of guys getting friend zoned by girls. But these concepts should apply to just about any combination of gender and sexual orientation. So these are the two mistakes that probably landed you in the friend zone. Number one is not making moves. A lot of guys will realize they like a girl, but then they won't make a move because they're afraid of getting rejected or afraid that the girl will never talk to them again. And this does one of two things. By not making a move, you're either going to make her think that you're not interested in her romantically or that you don't have the confidence to make a move. Both of these things will land you in the friend zone and I'll explain how to get out based on each one of those in a minute. But in this sense, you have to remember that if you really want a romantic relationship with her, you have to realize from the very beginning that flat out rejection is better, as in less painful, than being stuck in the friend zone. You set the rules of the relationship from the beginning. So if you're acting friendly and you're not escalating things romantically, making moves, either flirting or maybe touching her in a calibrated way, you're putting yourself in the friend zone. She didn't put you in the friend zone. Your actions led to you being in the friend zone. But luckily there are ways to get out. And I'm not saying that they'll work all the time. And in fact, I'd say it's actually pretty likely that they don't work. But hey, that's all a part of learning and hopefully after this video, you'll never end up in the friend zone again. So let's say first scenario, you didn't make moves, but you seem to be pretty confident. When you're around her, you're cool, fun, loose, having a good time, but you just didn't make any moves romantically speaking. In that case, you'll probably have to open up about your feelings and just straight up tell her that you like her. Because at this point, you've been friends for a while, so if you were to just make a move out of nowhere, it would be totally unexpected and she would probably not accept it very well. But the reason I say you should open up about your feelings in this scenario is because if you just seemed like you're a totally confident guy, but you just didn't make a move, that communicates that you weren't interested in her romantically. And if that's the case, there's the chance that she's been romantically interested in you all along, but just also hasn't wanted to make a move. So it could work out in your favor or it could totally blow up in your face. But that's all part of getting out of the friend zone. You never know how it's gonna end up, and it's a lot easier to stay out of it from the beginning than it is to get out of it if you're already in it. But if you think she took your not making a move as you just not being confident, but maybe you like her, in this case, I would recommend that for about a week or two, or maybe more, you work on trying to improve your confidence and just kind of exhibit a little bit more confidence when you're around her and then eventually try to make a move. Because if you were to just do it completely out of nowhere, she might take it as you just not having confidence, but after all this time of it building up inside you and then you just go and make a move, it'll be super shocking and kind of weird. But if she sees that you've been becoming more confident over the last couple weeks, and then you go ahead and make a move, she might just find that sexy. It's hot. Mistake number two, doing too much. What I mean by this is that you probably do too much for her, which comes off as needy, whether that's by giving her way too many compliments or by always bending over backwards to do everything for her, like doing too many favors. Now I'm gonna break down exactly why into two sections. The first section is value. By value, I'm referring to your social value, which is pretty much anything that you bring to the table for the girl. This can mean anything from looks to confidence to money to status to how funny you are to how interesting you are. Literally anything that would make the girl like you. When you think high value, think Dan Bolzerian. The guy is jacked. He's rich. He's fun. He's famous. He's confident. He has tons of friends and he's surrounded by beautiful women around the clock. But luckily you don't have to be Dan Bolzerian to stay out of the friend zone and date high quality girls. Value is subjective. And so while Dan Bilzerian embodies most of the things that as a society we agree upon are high value qualities, there are a lot of girls that actually would not really like that or not care about it. Some girls may even be turned off by how famous he is or by how jacked he is or by how wild he is. Anyway, what I'm getting at here is that at some point along the line and maybe for the whole time, 
you have been communicating that you are of low value. What do I mean by this? Well, like I said, maybe you're giving her too many compliments or you're bending over backwards, just doing everything for her. This shows that you value her way more than you value yourself, which comes off as needy and low value. It's almost like she's the princess and you're the peasant. Like it's not an even equal relationship. You're not equals. You're literally putting her on a pedestal. And this is why a lot of girls go for the assholes instead of the nice guys. It's because they have a higher perceived value and the girl's not trying to step down to a lower level to be with this guy. He's, she's trying to find the best guy she can. So these assholes are basically just not coming off as needy. They're not showing the girl that they want her or need her. And that makes the girl want them more because it's something that she can't have. And that's just basic human psychology. We all want something that we can't get. Now, I'm not saying to be an asshole. That is never the answer. You can achieve the same results and increase your social value without being a dick. The best way to do this is to just focus on improving the things about yourself that you can control, which I'll put a video up here to my video about the bulletproof process of personal development that I go through whenever I want to get better at anything. And in addition to actually bettering yourself in the areas that you can control, make sure to also try as hard as you can not to be insecure about the things that you can't control. For example, if you don't think you're that physically attractive, you can still go to the gym and get in good shape. You can wear nice clothes that are well-fitting. You can get a great hairstyle, get, get great accessories, all that good stuff. And most importantly, not think about or care about what other people think about you because that in and of itself is super, super sexy. So the second part of doing too much is validation. Validation is really just anything that makes the girl feel good and that makes her feel like she has your approval. So by doing too much and being super nice to her, you're giving her all the validation she needs. And so she doesn't need any more validation from you. So she'll move on to the next guy that she needs validation from. Great example of that, the assholes we're talking about because they are much harder to get validation from. The asshole is not as likely to give her a compliment as you are. And so since it's harder for her to get the validation from that guy, she really, really wants it. So what I'm saying here is she's already got you, bro. You were too easy. And that's why they call it game. It really is a game. And if you let her win too easily by giving her tons of validation all the time, she's going to bump up the difficulty and move on to the next guy. An easy way to take away a little bit of validation without having to be a dick is to just poke a little fun at her sometimes. Girls love emotional spikes in a conversation. They don't want a boring flatline conversation or one that's just always positive or maybe sometimes boring. They like to go through a roller coaster of emotions, like feeling like if you give her a compliment here, it makes her feel very validated. But then you kind of give her a little playful diss over here and she's like, oh no, it makes her feel like she needs to like get back that validation. And then maybe a boring conversation here and then another good one and then another neck. Just going through that roller coaster of emotions is what's going to make her like you more. Just make sure to be really careful about it and don't actually insult her. Like stay away from things that could be insecurities, like talking about her weight or her age or anything like religion, things like that. A couple other easy words to throw in are actually and never mind. For example, you can say something like, you know what? You're actually pretty smart. And then she'll freak out a little bit because she's like, wait, actually like, Look, did you not think I was smart or what? And it's just going to make it like a little bit more playful and interesting. Or you could say something like, you know what? Oh, never mind. And then just change the subject. This is going to make her get in her head and wish that she knew what you were about to say. And that's going to take away a little bit of validation from her because it's like you didn't tell her. So now she has to try to like earn your trust and earn your words or whatever. <laughs> so that just about wraps it up. I know this is a bit of a longer video, but I really hope it helps you get out of the friend zone or at least just stay out of it. If you found this video as helpful as I hope it was, go ahead and bookmark it, make it your Bible for staying out of the friend zone, because I really believe these tips are some of the best when it comes to staying out of the friend zone. And so hopefully this does the trick. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't be scared to go ahead and click that subscribe button and press the little bell so you get notified every time I drop a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Now go out there and put this into action and I will see you outside of the friend zone. Peace.